In this video, I'd like to take a look at the new reflect button, which is available within the class notebook. To get started, uh, I've created a page within my content library, just for a little bit of homework that I wish my class to undertake. And across the top here, where we've got home, insert and draw, etc., I can select class notebook. Under the class notebook heading, I then have the option here of being able to insert my reflect option. So I'll click on reflect. This now opens up my reflect window and then on here ask me the question what would you like students to reflect on and we have a range of headings so i have their confidence to succeed satisfaction with their progress their motivation to learn and when i start to click on these headings their motivation to learn understand of the content their prior knowledge and their level of effort so it then allows me to expand the question in this case i'm going to select understanding of the content I do get the question now and beneath there the text that I can change. I'm just going to alter this. Now that I've rephrased the question, I can add this check into the page. So it now creates a reflect area within the page. I can just close this down and this will then get posted out to my students when I come to uh, create my homework. So this reflect question will sit uh, within the page uh, until you decide to delete it. As we can see, here's the question and our students then get to be able to click on a reflect option. So either they get it, still learning or don't get it at all. So from beneath that, I get the teacher view. So I've got 26 students in my class and nothing has been selected yet. I can then click on the check in details. This will then open up the reflect screen. And then from here, I can interrogate the reflect choices uh, from my students. To close this, just click the tab at the top of the screen. That's the reflect now inserted onto my page. So let's see how we can then tie this into an assignment within Teams. I'm going to go back to Teams. I'm working in a year 11 group today and I go to assignments, create assignment, give it a title, put some instructions in. I can now attach the page. So I'm going to pull it in from a class notebook. Uh, it lives in the content library under context today. So I'm pulling that in from my content library and I'm going to then push that through into my homework area within the class notebook. I'm going to apply some points. Just go into all the students in my year group and I'm going to give my students a week to do the work. Once I'm happy, I can click assign. And there we have the assignment ready to go. So let's go over to the student view. My student has now got the assignment set and this is the notebook page. And this is now opened up the notebook page. So here's the option to watch the video. Here's the question. And this is where my student answer will go here. So the student's answers go in here, but beneath that we've got our reflect. So the student now gets the option of being able to choose the I get it, I'm still learning, or I don't get it yet. At the bottom here the student gets to see who's created the reflect question. In this case it's John Atkinson, the teacher. And if the student hovers over the who can see it text, it will then tell Susan in this case that the reflection will only be seen by educators. So all Susan needs to do now is select. So in this case, Susan's still learning it. She does get the option to be able to change her mind if required, but if she's happy with their choice, then Susan, in this case, can just then click Submit. As always, she can still change it if she wishes, but at this point, we'll just leave it as I'm still learning. So the student will complete the work as normal and then hand in the work. So let's go back to the teacher view. We've come back into assignments and I now have two ways of being able to interrogate uh, the reflection question within the notebook page. The first way is I can go directly into the assignment. And in this case, Susan has handed the work in. So I can just open up the work. This will then take me directly into her notebook page and at the bottom here, the reflect option. So I can either click on any of the emojis here 
or I can then just select the check-in details. This then opens up the reflect and as we can see here this is where Susan Abbott has selected the I'm still learning option. I can then click on Susan's name. This will then give me the reflect information and there would be a further list of names if other students have selected that option. I can click on Susan again and I can then potentially strike up a chat with Susan if it's available to me. And it also gives me any recent reflections that Susan may have clicked on. I can go back and close it just the same. I close the tab at the top of the screen. If I select on any of the buttons here, that will then just reopen the reflect screen. I can, if I wish, go directly straight into the class notebook. And I can access the reflect area here. And I can select reload and then check in details and again that just takes me back to the reflect window here. At the bottom of the reflect window it also then gives me a countdown as the students submit their reflections. So as we can see using the reflect option gives us the opportunity to be able to understand how a student is feeling around a particular piece of work that's been created within the class notebook.